Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out some more information, hopefully, fingers crossed, from the Dev Diary this week. So we're checking out the Flashbulb Games official Trailmakers live stream, and I really, really hope they give us some spicy information this week. Fingers crossed for weapons. All right, let's do this. Whoa, what is this? We got a whole cutscene. Is this inside a space station? Whoa. No way. Is this live gameplay? All right, we're in first person. This is an elevator. Whoa, what? There's a bunch of cool signs about the new space parts. Oh my God. There's a Chirpo here. They look like you can interact with those little NPC guys. And then getting into a Chirpo space. Whoa, would you look at that? Holy moly. And that's like a, a space station we just took up from. Yeah, Whoa. we are back. Wow. Hello. I hope the mic is working this time. We had a bit of an issue. I hope you enjoyed that video. What an intro. To know me, probably. If you don't, then I'm the community manager, Johannes. And with me is Sasha, the Trailmakers art director. Oh, this is Sasha. I've never fitting, actually seen what you look like because before. We are going to talk about environments. Oh, and, uh, environments. We'll get right into it because we have a lot of stuff to show. I was thinking we can start off here with uh, some of the videos and then we can uh, take a look at uh, you brought some concept art. I, I did. Yeah. So uh, let's start off with Doom. Doom, 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 doom. You can wonder where Whoa. the inspiration for this name came from. This is one of the planets and it's uh, it's good looking. I think it turned out really nice. It yeah. actually nothing looks huge. What? No, nothing ever is. Right so this is the Dune game, map but, uh, or the planet. But this uh, this is a version of it we're pretty happy with i think yeah uh, very wow heavily inspired it was like mars by a movie, i think so it so has its own gravity yeah, wow look at this terrain yeah, guys this is insane i think another thing i wanted to show with this video was how, what it looks like when you exit an atmosphere wow because i think people have been asking that a lot uh, like what is the transition like i'm gonna move my camera um, over here guys you can see right here that it sort of has so you can see the devs or sand uh, color tint until you uh it doesn't take as long to get out of the atmosphere as it would in real life i think in the arcade space versus the nasa space yeah. this one is a short so trip a pretty smooth transition from going from orbit one to space and it actually has its own orbit like atmosphere so you can actually yeah, when you I get into like the atmosphere is, uh, the gravity that's changes that's incredible Holrum. oh yeah Hull 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 so ignore this name but let's take a look at it anyway and it's not even a planet this is an asteroid and you oh, might recognize wow. this from the teaser because this is yeah this teaser is the shot. teaser one the asteroid is pretty uneventful at at the top of it but uh, in the sides here there are these awesome little crevices and it's got do, its own environment it us, <laughs> yeah and well you'll see right here if wow, there's would any, you look any at that? danish viewers in the stream uh, straight out of minecraft minecraft cold biome cold right here oh, reminds me of I no man's danish sky actually in, uh, empty room empty room but it's not empty Inside. <laughs> it's not empty at all i, I love that this. there's little chirpos it's not empty. so you does it have gravity easily. inside I the asteroid what I, I so think yeah, so it looks like it confirmed you saw it in the space station intro as well this is uh, way better yeah, closer was, look um, at this little asteroid here. I mean, huge asteroid, actually. This is yes. massive. You can see all the different entrances. And that's what we talked about earlier. There are no campaigns, but they're like story elements. So yeah. the, oh. you can walk around and talk to the turbos and they will tell you stuff. So you can actually interact the doing with the turbos like and, and stuff, but it's I not a campaign. It's still sandbox. I have my personal favorite, this one. Mycoterra. Mycoterra? Um, it's a, Oh, uh, <laughs> it's a mushroom planet. Mushroom planet. What? Um, as you can see. Um, wow, look at that build. That's incredible. Chirpos have this thing that they really, really like a certain type. Look of, how cool um, that build is. Jeez. Uh, food, which are these like tiny blue mushrooms. Don't ask me why. 
Oh. Or what they get out of it. But <laughs> we got some more chirpo law. <laughs> so, uh, this is, uh, oh, it's beautiful. Look at the environment. Also, guys, really quick, if you notice, the flat connectors are glowing. So maybe we can actually change the color and texture of the flat connectors. Look at this tunnel. Oh, okay. So this is one of the first ones. Yeah. And this I is like a mega map. This whole case, map is so cool. Cave, so I kind of All these planets. And I cut a few times also in between because I figured I found Look out how this long this cave is. is. Can you imagine it like more more skiing down problem, this hill, <laughs> down this tunnel? Now you are inside the planet of Nukoterra. What? You can actually... Oh my god. I thought it was just a random it's... tunnel. It you turns out it's an actual, it's an actual entrance point to the so core saying, of the planet. I, 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 so I, I yeah, wonder if there's like an interior the or inside uh, core to the Dune planet. This is incredible. Okay. So that was my Terra. This, this is Nassau. I don't Nassau. know how to say this. No, I say Nassau. Nassau. And uh, you've already seen this one. It's because uh, it's the moon that we've showed on off before. I think actually in the very first video we showed this one. In reality, the moon is a bit more hostile because this. Whoa! Is where this after enemies. The space pirates are defeated in. Uh, Oh my god, they have space pirates in the space map. It's perfect. This is their base. This is their moon. Holy smokes. I think even down here, we actually get a little... Look how deep that goes. For the Trailmakers historians. That's the mothership. There's the mothership. Oh my god. Recognize it. If anyone didn't recognize it. This is so epic. Behind those red shields that they really don't want you to get. It's the mothership from Airborne that is now parked here because you kicked their butts. Can you destroy those shields so and actually get what's inside? To this place and they're guarding some I have so many questions. Very heavily. It's got shields and stuff so you can't uh, just grab it. Nope. You actually have to uh, defeat basically that is everyone. so cool. Yeah. Maybe you, you get, get an achievement loot. or a new block. Yeah, Who knows? It's so pretty. It's... I love the video you did as well. They're all quite yes. decently sized. Also, I heard, and I don't know if this source is true. I think I discussed this with Scrapman, though. But apparently, if you go to one end of the map, like you fly all the way to the end of like the map border, you'll teleport to the other side and keep going. So you just you'll just keep going like infinite. Yeah, there's so much inspiration from like Dune and Star Wars. So you can see a trench. No, you cannot oh, see that's, that's that's so nice. A trench run. Let me just. So this is the trail makers <laughs> equivalent <laughs> to the Death Star. There it is. The trench <laughs> and another trench here. Just about the freaking massive laser. We got to do a video in this trench. Thing that is not a Death Star. Mm, it's nothing to do with a movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before Mickey Mouse gets all upset. <laughs> it's so well designed. All right. So um, what else do we have? we have? Some art. Yes. And I feel like you're the perfect person to talk about this art because you made this art. Some of it. Some of it. This is actually made by one of wow. our artists, Joanna. Look the, at this. The original concept artists for the space station. So this is the and space is station concept the art? the latest iteration of the space station. And as you can see, it's different than what I it I still can't get over the so fact that there's a freaking working, moving elevator. Moment, that's a part of the terrain, you know? So I'm guessing there's a spawn point inside the space station? And, and then you can just launch your aircrafts and spacecrafts from the uh, this area here. The hangar. And here's the, this is the Galena 9 space station that you saw in the intro. Galena 9. Uh, now station. we have a name for the space station, uh, Galena 9. Turbo control room here. And um, you can see here the information about the different planets here. And moons and asteroids. Oh, and wow. Whatnot. Will you be able to go into build mode in space? Yes. Oh, nice. Even too. better. Uh, better so detail. We, we got some stop. concept art here for the whole room. The uh, asteroid we had a look at. Uh, they tried to, I think they went one in an icy crystal theme at the start. They went from this green concept to but this pink and blue one that we end up getting. I think, I think that's the best design. Um, right, this one's pretty cool too. Final. Yeah, they got yeah. loads of inspirations from but crystals. I think it out very nicely. So this is the like Dune uh, concept very art. Very so here's the real That's planet, the real and here's the concept art, all, which is inspired. It looks like from coral awesome. formations. Yeah, that's really cool to take inspiration from. Actual coral, like coral reefs. Is that a, is that a sandworm? <laughs> the top left here, guys. Let me move my camera. There is a like little picture of a sandworm. So. Uh, Cool, cool detail. It's like underwater, but it's not underwater. Mm. I think it's really neat that when you get into the atmosphere of these planets, it, the the atmosphere actually changes color. So it's like orange sky around here until you leave and go into space. 
Okay. What do we have here? Oh, there's a reskin of the pirate duck fighters. That's cool. <laughs> The Pew Pew Turret Tower. <laughs> this is how I do concepts. Um, turret is spelled wrong as well. Like everything is just... See, I do art. <laughs> pew Pew Turret Tower. <laughs> That's really funny. That's what I'm interested in is what's below the here. Like but yeah, these power towers, towers, I wonder what those are. Destroy the shields. If oh, you get to the okay. So these are the shield generators, um, basically. These power towers. Just like in Airborne. These are the things you need to destroy, just like Luke Skywalker when you do the trench run. <laughs> this is the this Mushroom is so one again. Cool. Concept art goes a long way. I never really think about it, but like, there's actual artists that work on these games that design pretty much everything. Okay. I think uh, I think we covered all of our environment bases. Um, is there anything else to add? Otherwise, um, it's the same time next week, and I think next week is weapons. Yes, yeah, finally weapons. Are, Hopefully, we get some cool lasers. Me. That's weapons, and uh, well, I think you're really gonna watch that one because that's gonna be so cool. Um, so, same time next week, gang. And thank you for so the much hype session. is Enjoy. real. All right, there it is. Uh, they closed the stream. <laughs> wow. Well, what did you think, guys, about these new planets? I think they're freaking awesome. It's just so diverse and all the environments and all the little details and Easter eggs that you can find and interact with is really cool. I've been saying cool a lot this episode, but you know, space is freezing, so it makes sense. And next week, they've just confirmed that we're getting a showcase of the weapons. So stay tuned for that if you want to see that next week. And whilst you're at it, why not consider subscribing? Definitely subscribe if you're excited for this update. But anyway, that's enough from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.